how many days, years, decades, centuries are Black Americans expected to wait for equitable human rights that most white folks are afforded automatically and given the benefit of the doubt immediately because they are white? Systemic racism is the bedrock of our nation. It's who we are and who we have always been. Trump's election brought a series of hundreds, probably thousands that we don't know about, but hundreds of vicious, inhumane, un-American policies, harming impoverished people, harming the middle class, harming the masses, but devastating black, brown, and indigenous folks. And I must admit, the man has outdone himself. We may be a nation whose primary values are all about white supremacy first and foremost, but we are a close second with money and greed over human dignity and life. For our culture, I truly believe greed and money over humans and systemic racism are the number one and two, whichever order you want, values. Of our he has created policies that harm black, brown, indigenous people at so much higher percentages than white. He knows exactly what he's doing. It is purposeful. Don't believe for one moment that he's not also harming white people because he is, and sometimes in the numbers that are even higher because we have a higher percentage of population. I truly believe when he found out that the pandemic was harming our black sisters and brothers more because of the ongoing systemic racism and the horrific lack of healthcare, I think that was the day he decided, you know what? I'm not gonna do shit about the pandemic. The, uh, the pandemic is actually a great example of this. America could easily, easily give every single person money to tide us over and get us through this pandemic. We have the money, but unlike other nations, America just doesn't have the humane values. Trump and other wealthy people like him who control a nation have a vested interest in keeping systemic racism alive and thriving. So why do I say Trump's outdone himself? Well, because he's done the impossible or, okay, maybe it's not the impossible. He's done it. He actually has influenced people who are struggling terribly to make ends meet. They're monetarily like broke. They're struggling horribly to back him. People who support Trump's hate and greed are acting against their own best interest. And they're doing so with this incredibly surreal loyalty. A lot of people named, said that they're like a cult. Or, I don't get it. You can't reason with them because they don't believe in science because they support a man who doesn't believe in science. They support a man who's racist as all living hell. So it's just, you can't support someone and not be that yourself. If you support a racist, sure, you might not be burning crosses on your lawn, but it wasn't a deal breaker for you. I keep thinking, you know, if I could figure out these white folks, if I could figure it out, then I can like do something to help. Um, how normal, intelligent people could be fooled into being total racist and supporting the reverse Robin Hood thing and take money from the masses and themselves and give it to billionaires and have it be okay to have for-profit prisons? Oh my God, and have it be okay to have for-profit healthcare? So once again, I'm going to explain how Trump uses racism to trigger his follow followers all while stealing from their pockets right under their noses. I hate to say it again, because it's very antiquated. It's kind of rude, but it's true. Lyndon B. Johnson, yes, I think I quote him more than anybody. I should have memorized the damn thing. Explains this phenomenon better than anything I've ever heard. When he said, and again, it's, it's pretty antiquated and racist, but he said it, if you can convince the lowest white man he's better than the best colored man, he won't notice you're picking his pocket. Hell, give him someone to look down upon and he'll empty his pockets for you. And that is what white people are doing. We have been suckered into being fools. We're not gonna get rich if we keep working hard. No, Trump and all the one percenters are getting rich off of us. And they want us to keep working hard. And they certainly do not want us to blame them for creating laws that destroy our livelihoods, our life, our peace of mind, our health. They think we should blame black people for everything. And we're stupid enough to do it. <laughs> I get this feeling that black folks are a little freaking tired of this shit. I mean, that's just put it mildly. I imagine black people are sick of the discrimination against them in every single area of life and all this gaslighting and all this denial and oh my God, it's obnoxious. And I'm guessing they're sick and tired of their loved ones being killed and maimed 
and abused, like I said at the beginning of this rant. How many decades, how many centuries should Black Americans wait, be expected to wait patiently to just get their human rights so that we'll have some equity, just like most white folks are afforded automatically? You tell me.